Who are you? I'm with He's him. He's with me. We are traveling at warp speed. How did you manage to beam aboard this ship? Hey, you're the genius. You figure it out. As acting captain of this vessel, I order you to answer the question. Well, I'm not telling, acting captain. I think what was fantastic about Star Trek is that it presents a, a pretty, a wonderfully positive utopian vision of humanity where great things are possible when you work together. And I think now, similarly, during a time of, of you know, great unrest, it's why not have a vision of, uh, yeah, you know, it's a deep abiding, has a, a deep abiding faith in humanity. I think in in a lot of ways and. Uh, and now I feel like it's really fitting that there's this sort of optimism and I think even in the face of all the hard times the world over there's a, a tremendous sense of belief in our, in our ability to, to drive through it and to rise above it and I think this movie embodies that to an extent. You know. Enlist in Starfleet. Enlist? <laughs> you guys must be way down on your recruiting quota for the month. Well, if you're half the man your father was, Jim, Starfleet could use you. You can be an officer in four years. You can have your own ship in eight. You understand what the Federation is, don't you? It's important. It's a peacekeeping and humanitarian armada. We done? I'm done. It's really big. It's cavernous, the captain's chair. And it's also not attached to the floor, so it would fall over occasionally, which made for uh, many a funny moment. But um, it was... Uh, I, it's very odd, because, you know, having not been a fan, it's not as sacrosanct to me as it would be to anybody else. Wow. I know I had to pull that word out. All right, he's waiting until the end of the day for the $10 words. <laughs> Cha-ching! <laughs> you know, you have the whole crew around you, and you're in, in full imagination, make-believe mode. And, and, you know, you, it's funny how you can trick your own mind into, you know, for that moment, I was, for all intents and purposes, like the captain of a <laughs> spaceship. So it was... Uh, it was very cool. It was very cool. I think it's really important that J.J. was uh, behind it. I think it's important that you have someone that, um, the team behind it, whether you have Damon Lindelof and you have Bob Orson, Alex Grossman and J.J. and that kind of general counsel with people who aren't fans, people that are fans, you have the perfect, uh, the perfect creative team behind it. So you, you pay tribute to what was done before, but you breathe fresh life into this series that, uh, um, that has been moribund for a little bit. We haven't seen it in quite a quite a while. Moribund? What are you talking about?